the side that lined up against Arsenal six weeks ago. Rizitsky, Verns and Ricken, all unavailable through injury that night. Here is Ricken, and now Rizitsky, dangerous player. Oh, and just for a moment, I don't see him might have lost track of that. Uh, gave Ricken the option. Made a yard for himself, Ricken. Uh, Rizitsky, rather. I don't think he caught it as well as perhaps Seaman first thought. That's the... Too much of a stretch for Gilberto. In nipped Rosicki. Correct. Rosicki. Kale. Again, it's Sigal and Collar. And it falls for Rosicki. Who's fouled by Sol Campbell. He's a tricky little customer, Rosicki. I think Campbell just deceived slightly the way the ball died. I think it was a case of Brzezinski being a little bit clever there. He won the he won the foul. And he'll take the free kick. He's a star in a workman-like team, Brzezinski. And there's Burns. Well, it's a good delivery, just a fraction too high for Burns to get on the end. Rosicki over the top for Everton. Sigon was almost caught out. Collar, Ricken ran into trouble. Rosicki changing the point of the attack for Lars Ricken. Collar has his arm up raised. That's where it's headed. Sigon and now Perez for Arsenal. Perez, Marie, one back by Rosicki, Everton. I don't know whether he wears boots or dancing shoes, Rosicki, at times. Well, it was a new piece of skill to get out of that tight position, but he wasn't fouled. He knew the ball had gone. Oof. Everton. Verns. Rosicki. Frings. Mitty meeting. This time David Seaman is threatened primarily by Thomas Rosicki. The bounce of Rosicki's free kick, defeating Seaman. Sorry to have to say it, but it's happened again to the England keeper. Well, it was always coming, the pressure that Dortmund was putting Arsenal under. But it's a good ball in for Rosicki. And really, Collar will be annoyed that I don't think he, that he didn't get a touch on it. But the flight has deceived Seaman, reacted awfully late. It's Zola against Chelsea all over again. This time I think there was a touch, it may just have come off Gilberto, but even so, Seaman was so late to react. Yeah, he was. I mean, he waited a long time before he left off the ground. Whether or not he thought Colin might have got a touch and sent it the other way, to the other side of the goal. Score from the other group game, which I'll do in just a second. Rosicki. Now dead. A little bit more of uh, Arsenal's threat on the break on the counter here's Sigon Rosicki to collar then both Arsenal and Borussia Dortmund will qualify tonight here's Vieira manhandling Rosicki illegally there through Dennis Romadal PSV Eindhoven 2, Hawks Air 0 if Auxerre lose, and this stays level, both Arsenal and Dortmund go through tonight. Ricken. Rosicki. May not stay level for long. Lawrence Header. Premiership. Until they lost at Everton. 23 away games without defeat in the Premiership until that same afternoon. Evan Nielsen. Rosicki. 
Rick runs and do Dominic just not looked up and ticked him out. That's what's frustrating the crowd. But when he goes forward, it's important that Arsenal, if they win the ball, that they do take advantage of that space that he is leaving down that uh, Arsenal right hand side. Found there by Freddie Youngberg. There's no sign of any form of collusion out there because Borussia Dortmund are certainly going for it in front of their demanding supporters. Cole. But only should have been much more penetrative. Off goes Jan Koller. Out comes Seaman. Decision is given. Penalty kick. But really, Koller should never have gone on the end of this ball. Six foot seven and a half, fifteen and a half stone, bearing down on David Seaman, who has escaped without a card. But he even made a yard up on Seagan. Koller, you, you would never expect to beat Seagan. It's to be Thomas Rosetsky, the crown prince of Czech football. To put Dortmund in front. Very good penalty. Seaman went the right way, but it crept just inside the post. And for the fourth game in a row, Arsenal find themselves 2-1 down. Well, they shouldn't be, really. The, the two poor goals. But it, it was only a hurdle. And Collar, you know... I mean, if Samuel was making much of Arsenal's diving before the game, then we have seen Dortmund do equally as much, if not more, in this one. I think Henri may be a little bit annoyed with himself. He had a good opportunity there, a good one-on-one. -on -one. I thought Henri was just ideally placed to go past Burns. And it's from that break that Dortmund take the lead. Rosicki's name chanted in typical fashion. For a split second, he was going to let it go. It's a perfect penalty, though. Well, well hit. Finds the inside of the of the netting. Knows exactly where it's going. Still, both the teams in front of us here. Metzelda. Siegel. Faze, the last two occasions they've been in the competition. This is Thomas Rosicki for Dortmund. And that was a block by Cole. Well, they have to be alive. Ashley Cole as the ball cleared. Cole up. He had to make sure he closed down that space in front of Thomas Rosicki and give him no opportunity, no chance of a clear view on goal. And he just does enough. Rosicki to take. Too high for Collar, just. From 2-1, there's a way back for Arsenal. From 3-1, it would be mighty difficult. It's Torsten Frings, straight into that four-man wall. No deafness about that free kick, just sheer power. <laughs> Frings, Rosicki. Well in by Campbell, Vieira, Jungberg to Vieira. Thierry Henry is lurking on the edge of the Dortmund penalty area. It's not going to come to him in a hurry. There's Collar. That's always a good outlet ball for, for Dortmund, one over to the, to the flanks, because there's always somebody prepared to go and have a chase. There, they're three up against nine men. Dortmund will top the group tonight with 10, Arsenal will have 9 points, PSV 5 and Auxerre 4 and their places in the second phase with a game each to spare. Jungberg. Sigon. Now Toure. Cleanly won by Rosicki, Jan Koller. Here's Maduni. 
They're up and gone. French defender. Last permissible substitution for Matthias Sala. And off comes the outstanding Thomas Rezitsky. His free kick flicked off Gilberto's head for the equalising Dortmund goal and who then dispatched the penalty after Seaman was adjudged to have brought down Jan Koller.